General Elisha Franklin Paxton, 1828 to 1863. Born in Rockbridge County, studied at Washington College and Yale before entering law school at the University of Virginia, where he graduated head of his class. He was a successful lawyer in Lexington, a farmer, and president of the First Bank of Lexington. He enlisted in the Confederate Army as First Lieutenant of the Rockbridge Rifles. His gallantry at the First Battle of Manassas attracted the attention of General T.J. Jackson, and he was subsequently appointed Jackson's Chief of Staff. He was later promoted to Brigadier General and was commander of the Stonewall Brigade at Fredericksburg and Chancellorsville, where he was killed on May 3, 1863, at the age of 35. He is buried in the Stonewall Jackson Memorial Cemetery. I want to read a, a short selection from General Paxton's memoirs. As you can see in the background is the original Paxton house built by the General's father in the early 1800s. This is General Order number 65 coming from the headquarters of Paxton's Brigade December 18, 1862. Regiment commanders will institute a close examination of the conduct of officers and men in the late battle. They will see that merited censure and punishment falls upon delinquencies, that fidelity and gallantry are rewarded with praise and promotion. If any remained behind in camp or fell to the rear without proper leave upon the march, which seemed to all to lead to the field of battle, when brought to the enemy, sought safety in flight, their officers will see that they are arrested and the proper steps taken for their punishment. Your line, as it moved after long hours of weary suspense to the support of your comrades in front, exhibiting the spirit and determination of soldiers resolved to conquer or die, was witnessed by your brigade commander with a feeling of pride and gratification such as he had never known before. Such a result can never be achieved by men who harass themselves with alternating hope of safety or fear of danger. It is the work only of the soldier who habituates himself to the idea that he must stand to his colors so long as he has a cartridge or a bayonet to be despised and cast off even by the women and children of his own home. He who moves under such a resolution must of necessity do his duty, win the applause, and a still nobler reward in the conviction which it causes to his own heart that he is what the meanest feels he would like to be, a true man and a true soldier. He who proves recreant to his country and his cause at such a time merits the just sentence of military law to die under the colors he disgraced by the gallant by the muskets of the gallant comrades he deserted. Signed E.F. Paxton, Brigadier General.